To develop a new ink pump, we start by looking at the end of the inkjet value chain. At KNF, this is our approach on how to keep up with the trends in the market. It is what allows us to develop new products which meet our customers' requirements. My name is Andreas Hauri. I am the head of product management at KNF. And in this webinar, I'm going to show you our conclusions from some of these trends and how we cover them with our latest product developments. One major trend we've been observing for quite a while now is the creating of haptic surfaces, like the reproduction of wood texture on walls and floors, but also coatings and patterns on packaging uh, or textiles. They all have in common that in very specific spots and shapes, a large amount of ink needs to be laid down in a short amount of time and at very high precision. For our pumps, this means that they must have the ability to transfer a high volume of ink without causing too much turbulence in the ink supply system. Let's support this trend with some numbers. Up to a few years ago, the flow rate of our pumps used in ink recirculation was between 200 to 600 milliliters per minute. With our latest product developments, we had to extend this range by more than factor three to about two liters per minute. Another trend we are discovering is the use of inkjet technology for additional manufacturing methods, and within these, mainly 3D printing. There, the, print head, the print heads are used to deliver no longer inks only, but other liquids like binders and resin. Compared to inkjet inks, these liquids are of higher viscosity, and therefore require more energy to be transferred through the system. And yet it needs to happen gently so that the precious liquids are not harmed in any way. Also here, some numbers. Whereas conventional inkjet inks have a viscosity of up to a maximum of 20 millipascal seconds or centipoise, Liquids used for 3D printing are already exceeding this value today uh, with the boundary being pushed further and further up the scale. We are in contact with some customers who are looking to transfer liquids of up to 100 millipascal seconds and beyond in 3D printing applications. The transfer of the liquids through the supply system is therefore becoming more and more challenging. The third major trend we are seeing in the inkjet market is driven by environmental concerns. And in some countries, change is already enforced by governments with new introduction of regulations. The main focus there is to push towards or to move away from unhealthy solvents in inks and a push towards healthier and environmental friendlier water-based uh, water inks is made. Water-based inks can be more difficult to process if we consider the curing process on plastic foil, for example, or the fact that they tend to form micro bubbles rather quickly and therefore, it is even more important to keep the printing process within a very narrow window of operation and the ink at a very stable quality.
KNF has been part of the inkjet journey almost from the start with the printing of labels to large format printing, printing of ceramic floor tiles and glass, all the way to today's evolution into the additive manufacturing technologies. Along with the printing technology, our diaphragm pumps had to evolve as well. And we have always found answers to fill, fulfill the latest requirements from the inkjet industry. So what are our conclusions after observing the mentioned trends in the market? With the need for larger ink volumes at higher viscosity and within an even smaller operating window, we need to make sure that our pumps become increasingly dynamic so they can cope with the fast changing printing parameters during a print run. Furthermore, due to the fact that inkjet technology is becoming more and more complex, we are looking to simplify things for the customers by offering complete solutions for them. Let's have a look now at how exactly we generate more dynamic diaphragm, diaphragm pumps at KNN. As mentioned earlier, the flow rates are increasing, and as they are increasing, the effect of pulsation generated by a pump can become more and more problematic. First of all, pulsation um, reduces the efficiency of a pump, especially if liquids need to be transferred through long and narrow tubing, as it can be the case in a printing machine. And second, too much pulsation can also harm the printing result itself if the pressure pulse is transferred through the tubing into the printhead and to the nozzles. This slide shows quite impressively the progress we have made with our diaphragm pumps in regard to lowering the pulsation. What started originally with one-headed pumps with quite high pulsation caused by the movement of the single diaphragm was reduced over 10 years ago with the introduction of the two diaphragm or what we call boxer pumps. And lately, with the introduction of our smooth flow pumps, we've been able to reduce pulsation even more, which also allows higher flow performance in inkjet printing machines. We are using two approaches for building smooth flow pumps. The first one, which we are using for the rather large pumps, is the interlacing of five diaphragms, which are driven by a wobbling eccentric. The overlapping of the flow of the five diaphragms generates a high yet very gentle flow. And the brushless DC motor allows for great controllability in the customer system. The second approach we are using for our smaller pump series is the integration of dampeners directly in the head of the pump. The basic technology is still a conventional one-headed pump, but with the use of the damper, we can achieve the same effect as we achieve with multiple diaphragms on larger pumps. This here on the right side, by the way, is the FP70 which we are just about to launch at the beginning of March. The other pump on the left side is the FP150, which we've launched last year already. Both pumps are raising quite a lot of interest with our inkjet customers. During the development of the smooth flow pumps, we were able to test the pumps directly in a customer's DOD system. And we measured the pulsation on both sides of the pump, on the inlet and the outlet side. Looking at the two charts, it is clearly visible 
that there is a huge improvement over, over the conventional one-headed pumps. With the tested smooth flow prototypes shown here on the right side, the pressure peaks nearly disappeared completely. And this impressive reduction of the pulsation helps to increase the efficiency of the ink transfer and therefore has a direct impact on the printing process. The low pulsation does not only increase the flow efficiency, it also improves the controllability of the pumps because we are achieving a much more linear performance line if we draw up the flow in relation to the motor speed. As the red line indicates, with a conventional one-headed pump, it is quite difficult to predict the flow rate at a certain motor speed. Whereas the new smooth flow pumps have a very linear and therefore a very predictable behavior and the out output of the pump becomes much more predictable. This behavior also makes the pump ideal for integration into closed loop systems, for example. Here I would also like to point out that the new pumps perform much better against higher system pressure. So there is much less of a drop in flow rate if the system pressure is increased to two bars, for example. Besides ink transfer or ink recirculation, another critical application in an inkjet system where highly dynamic pumps are needed is the management of the meniscus pressure above the printing nozzles. There, usually a vacuum pump is required, which must generate just the right vacuum to prevent ink from flowing out of the printhead, out of the nozzles, in an uncontrolled manner. You can probably imagine that such a pump needs to be able to react in milliseconds time frame, and this while the printing parameters are constantly changing. It is figuratively a hummingbird's wing beat in which the pump can and must build up the required vacuum. This quick reaction time the pump needs is achieved with the help of two technologies. First of all, the pumps are equipped with highly dynamic brushless DC motors, which allow a very quick and precise vacuum control. Secondly, we equip the pump with a bypass so it can run continuously and no time is lost for the starting and stopping the acceleration and the slowing down of the motor. In combination with a check valve, it is assured that the vacuum is kept at a constant level. I was speaking of motors in the previous slide. They are obviously a very important part of our pumps. The latest generation of motors we are using at KNF can be customized to the customer's needs in a digital way. Without going too much into detail here, this basically means that we can change the control behavior of the motor and the way it reacts to the input signals coming from the customer's system. This helps to fine tune the characteristics of the pump exactly to the customer's application. In this slide, we are just showing a few of the options we have with digital customization. If you are interested, um, please go through them again after the webinar and certainly feel free to get in contact with us for further consultation on this. I mentioned earlier that one of our goals is also to help simplify the complexity of inkjet technology. We believe we can do that by making the integration of a pump into an ink supply system 
as easy as possible for our customers. Delivering the customer not just the pump, but more of a complete system with all the peripherics needed for a quick and easy integration into whatever system the customer may have has always been a priority for us at KNF. A good example of such a system, which is found in most ink supply layouts, is the degassing unit. It is needed to pull air and other gases out of the ink before it reaches the printhead. As you may know, printheads are very sensitive to air bubbles and the oxygen content in the ink is a critical parameter to assure the functionality of the ink. Therefore, a proper degassing system is very important. This application even gains in importance now as the market is moving more and more towards, towards water-based inks, which have the tendency to dissolve oxygen and form microbubbles. The degassing system we build for our customers includes obviously a pump, which creates vacuum of below 100 millibar absolute pressure. Furthermore, a so-called gas ballast is included to remove condensate from the pump. An adjustable motor for very precise control of the vacuum. Furthermore, electric, pneumatic, and also mechanical connectors, which are needed to connect the pump to the interfaces in the customer system. Optionally, the system can be equipped with a degassing cartridge, and we can also include electronics or closed loop vacuum control if this is requested by the customer. I mentioned the gas ballast as part of the system. It's important to know that a vacuum pump tends to build up condensate over time. And if this condensate is not removed, it becomes very difficult to keep the vacuum at a constant level. The purpose of the gas ballast is to continuously discharge condensate from the pump. There are many other factors how KNF pumps might make life simpler for our customers. I mentioned already the degassing system, which comes as an all-in-one unit. Furthermore, also the integrated dampening technology of our smooth flow pumps helps to simplify the system as it reduces the need for separate dampening elements which, and which again saves space in the unit and cost, obviously. KNF diaphragm pumps can cope with most of the inks currently used in the market, also the ones in use at higher temperatures. This means that you don't always have to go look for a new pump when you are trying new inks. And if your existing solution is not working, we are always willing to try new things to make the pump fulfill your requ requirements. Furthermore, the pumps have very stable performance curves, which mean that they deliver a very constant flow, even if pressure conditions or viscosity is changing. This helps to ensure your process safety, even if inks are changing slightly during the printing process. The flow of the pump can easily be adjusted using digital PWM or analog signals to reach the exact operating point needed in your application. And last but not least, the pumps can be operated at high speed in a priming or what we like to call, uh, call boost mode if the printing system needs to be filled or emptied with ink during the startup of the printer, during purging of the print heads, for example. All KNF ink pumps are also self-priming, hence no other pumps are needed to prime them. 
and they are capable of running dry, which makes them very reliable and long living. <clears throat> To close my presentation, let me summarize again the most important ways in which KNF supports the latest trend in, trends in the inkjet market. First of all, our new smooth flow pumps help you to cope with all kinds of ink, also with inks of higher viscosity and at very high flow rates. Second, we are using high-end motor technology, allowing very precise vacuum control, for example, in the man management of the meniscus pressure above the printing nozzles. Third, all KNF pumps are developed, produced, and tested at very high quality standards and are therefore highly reliable which is helpful in continuously running systems like the degassing unit or in ink circulation loops. And the fourth and last point, we built the pump as a system, so it integrates perfectly into the customer's system. We know that with our passion for diaphragm pumps and our long experience in the inkjet printing market, we help to make the life of our customers in the highly complex inkjet market a little bit easier. Thank you very much for your attention.